Sir, you cannot be here in the spot. You can report over there. Sir, you got to report. What's your name and your badge number? So, sir, you're going to be arrested for What is your name and your badge number? If you Polymer touch me, you will lose qualified immunity. Polymer I'm on the public sidewalk. Stand on that side over there, sir. No, I don't have to. So, you're interfering. Okay. Nah, you, you call your supervisor. If you're going to put your hands on me, call your supervisor. Because this is the sidewalk. I've already asked you to nah, move. I'm not trying to hear that. You have to understand people's rights. I've already asked you to move, sir. Nah, go ahead. So I've already asked you to move. is under arrest for interference. I don't know what happened yet. Um, he wanted an ambulance for his wrist because they hurt. I'm hot right now. Oh, okay. So you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why did he enter? See oh, Mata? What? You mean Mata? Is that who it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's Mata. No, well, none of us knew that. Yeah. yeah. On June 20th, 2022, off-duty police officer, Officer Palomares, was working a security detail at a church in Fort Worth, Texas on Hemp Hill Street that feeds the homeless and helps the homeless people out when he felt the need to call for backup. Fort Worth police received a call that this man in the blue shirt allegedly made threats to another individual who had borrowed money from him and failed to pay him back. They also alleged that this man was a narcotics dealer and a member of an Aryan prison gang, which I find hard to believe, but Officer Jose Palomares turns this into the potential crime of the century and detained this man for over an hour because the man refused to let him search him and his belongings, which brings up all kinds of legal issues, whether he was detained lawfully or unlawfully. Also, cop watcher Manuel Mata will show up on the scene to record and Officer Palomares will be too distracted by the First Amendment to perform his duties and he will pursue Manuel Mata as he is moving away from him like Palomares asked him to do and unlawfully arrested him. Y'all aren't going to believe this garbage arrest and the outcome. Anyways, Let's get into it. The 100 page review of the Fort Worth Police Department uncovered significant instances of officers failing to de escalate situations at times using unauthorized force. Kennedy Walker has the story. Hundreds of cases were reviewed, and it was found that an alarming number of Fort Worth police officers were, quote, aggressive, and that that behavior was often tolerated. The city has been waiting almost three years for this deep review of police following the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson back in 2019. Police Chief Neil Noakes says that in the following months, he plans on updating everyone on how the department plans to move forward. Do me a favor, um, sit on the floor for me, up against the wall. All the way. Robert 386, and this male's supposed to be, uh, have narcotics on him, nothing better means I'm dealing drugs, so I uh, might need to clean out of the house. I haven't done anything. I really haven't done anything. I don't want to watch the comments. I just asked him where my money was, and he said, ripped me off 20 bucks, like, I don't know how many months ago it was, but about five, six months ago. He said he was going to get it back to me, and then he, 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 he broke, ditched on me two times. So basically, I've just been informed that you're the local drug dealer up here, I'm Dylan Doe. No, I'm not. So, it doesn't matter what you tell me, I'm going to do my job, okay? So I'm going to read something to you, and then we're going to proceed. You have the right to remain silent? All right. Am I being arrested? So now, no, not right now. I haven't done anything. So just now, um, do you have any drugs on you? No. Okay. Um, I just come down here to get my mail at the mission. Okay, so then, so so again, you know, I don't time. think I don't think you listen to me. You can tell me you ain't got nothing all day long, but now I've already had, and I already know that you're the guy for selling drugs and methamphetamines, and we don't I tolerate not, that. I don't, don't even do that. So it doesn't matter what you tell me, sir. I'm just letting you know what I know. So, and I'm gonna get a drug dog to come up here and, and check. Okay, just so you know. All right. So I'm going to do my job. I'm going to check. I haven't done anything, sir. Oh, okay. All right, sir. I, I, I'm, I'm clean. I haven't done anything, sir. What are you put me out on? Uh, I'm going to word to him. He sold $20 for me. He's going to say anything. I told him it was $20, and he said, I said, you need to give him 20 bucks. He said, I, he said, you didn't touch me. So you don't have any drugs on you? No. So so you don't mind showing me your pockets and your bag and your, and your stuff that you don't have any drugs on you? I just like to know why you want to steal. So, so you do you do money, you don't mind. 
I do mind because okay. that, that, I don't, that, there's, that, there's no problem with cost. Robert 3386, have a seat, set okay. your butt down. I was going to show you here what Robert I got. Robert 3386, go ahead. What are you trying to get up for? I'm going to ask you to sit down. I was going to show you that because I'm just trying to... I don't trust you, sir. No, you're not going to stand up and try to fight me and take off running and try no, to hurt I'm me, not hurt yourself. I'm, 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 I don't know you. I don't know you, sir. I've never and I've asked you to have a seat. Others. Why? For your safety and for my safety. And you're for dealing narcotics. Um, that is not going to be tolerated. I'm not. I'm done. That's okay. I got a drug dog coming. That's okay. I'm going to have a drug dog coming. So I've already asked for your permission to let me check. You said no. We're going to go another route. That's all there's to it. You can search me fine. I mean, so, I, I don't. But the thing is, I don't understand why. I don't want to know why. You're going to tell me why when I just told you why? I did. That's not a reason. I haven't done anything. So. That's going you on just, the words. Just, I just told you why. Word. So what, what, what part of why? Uh, what th okay, you ask me one more time and I'm going to tell you the same thing. Ask me why again. Why? Because somebody says you're dealing drugs out here. That's why. So that, that's what that's going And you have a right not to let me search you. You have that right and I have a right to get a dog, drug dog up here and find it. I have the right too to do that. Not a threat. I'm just telling you I have to do my job. I didn't do anything, sir. This is why it's so important to know your rights. Because at this point in time right here, it's not even clear whether he is being unlawfully detained or lawfully detained. If this man knew his rights, the question would be, am I free to go or am I being detained? Okay, and then you ask the officer, what is your reasonable, articulatable suspicion that I've committed a crime that gives you the right to detain me? If the officer cannot articulate the crime, then this is an unlawful detainment, and this man would more than likely be able to just get up and walk away. But he's just going to sit here, and this video is going to go on for over an hour, even though I'm going to edit out most of this dead time. I don't believe you're doing this. I mean, I, I, I haven't done anything. Yeah. So, so like I said, I'm not threatening you. Like I said, I've asked you for permission. You said no. I have a right to call a dog too. So I have to investigate. I'm gonna do my job. Why? Well, I haven't done anything. Sure, do you copy? Doesn't matter. He just went in there because it was just. I am going to do my job. You understand that? Yes. Please bring me. Um, dealing drugs is illegal. Uh, do you understand that? Uh, so somebody tells me you're dealing drugs. I have to come and investigate. He was standing there talking. Sir, what are you doing, sir? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not making any sense. You're not making any sense whatsoever. This guy here, what he did. It doesn't matter what you say, sir. It doesn't matter. Why? It doesn't matter what you say. I'm going to do my job. I didn't do it. You're just getting aggressive with me. That's all you're doing. No, I'm not. There you are. I have not gotten aggressive with you one What's your contact phone number? So, are you going to let me check you or are you not going to let me check you? Yes or no? Check me. I mean, I haven't done anything. So, it's a yes or no. You have the right to say no. Yes. Huh? Uh, I don't think there's really any need to check me. Okay, it's a yes or no, sir. Yeah. Huh? Can you check me? Yeah, and what about check your bag and check your stuff? I got beer in there. Okay, so is that a yes or no, sir? You have the right to say no. Uh, huh? No, that, that, there's no reason. There's okay, no hey, let's look at K9. He's a drug dog. He's a local drug dealer over here, apparently. He sells meth. He's got meth on him. He don't want anybody to check his stuff. So uh, I want the K9 to come up here. We've been having a problem with, with meth up here. Uh, say again? Did he find something? No, but he's got it right here. Dude, they've already dimed him out inside. That he's out here. He's one guy. So, so close your mouth, sir. Close your mouth. So apparently he's, he's threatening uh, one guy. It's too early for beer, too. So there's a guy that he that. just threatened. It's too early for that. I'm going to have a drug dot coming up here and check. So we've been having a problem up here with methamphetamines, with people buying and showing up high and selling drugs and all that. And you've been identified as a, local, as a drug dealer up here. By one person. So it doesn't matter what you say, sir. So just sit there quietly and wait for the canine to show up. Okay. Yeah, I'm having him get a hold of a drug dog. So, yeah, he's putting up a fight. Um, we're glad here. He doesn't want anybody to search him. So I'm pretty, I'm not pretty sure. I'm not pretty sure. Pro the witnesses that he's going to be doing that. I'm sitting out here drinking a cup of coffee. Drugs and meth this so guy came along. I saw him. I haven't seen him in months. He ripped, ripped me off 20 bucks. Thank you for taking care of it. Is there anything I can do? Let me know. Pay me back. He, okay, he, yeah, I got a non duty officer here, so this is going to be a little bit. I saw him over there. I said, I need to talk to him. He said, Where's my 20 bucks? He said, It's in my bank account. So please get it out for me. Thank you so much. And he said, He was going to. He said, I said, I said, I want my 20 bucks back. He said, He said, He was going to be arrested. I'm gonna get that guy's information real fast. Okay. So if he tries to take off, just hit me on the radio and I'll run out here real quick. Because he already tried that once already, apparently. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. 
He's got what? He's got the dope on him. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the canine route. He's, he's got a right to refuse, so yeah. like I said, I told him I'm not threatening you, but he, yeah. he said I can search him but not his stuff. So I'm gonna get the drug dog to come out okay. first, but he's gonna be the drug dealer up here. Let me get your last name, sir. Oh. So if you don't mind, don't leave yet. Let me let me see what I got. You can hang out, do what you want to. Uh, he threatened you two today? Well, no, if he was there when he threatened me, he I was there. I'm going to cigarette. He tried to get up and hit him. And he asked him, where's my $20 bill? And you know, so I asked him straight up, why is he on $20? He told me straight up that he, he buys me up from me. So, I don't, I don't do that. Um, no, the other oh, guy does it. I don't ever do drugs. If I got to pay for it. Okay, so why do you have money? I bought $20 for him to buy a cigarette for it. Okay, but, but you, but you let, let me know. Okay, so, so to clarify that, but he's the guy that sells meth up here. He sells meth, he smokes eyes and everything. Okay, has he, has he sold to you before? Straight up? Well, we've seen him serving. But do you know him with something right also? The little guy that was... That dude, I don't know him. Yeah. That's the first time I ever seen him over here in this hood. But the, the I know everybody else. Woody in the white shirt. You can ask everybody knows Woody. He's a dope. Woody Woodpecker. He's down. Yeah, but he's gone. He took out. See, you want to go? He's both of them. Oh, and another thing. I wish I'd known now. Hell on him too. Yeah, but he's hauled ass. Cause see, you want to go? He come in here, look, see why wasn't he left? But she said after I got up, yeah, she said when I got up here, came and tried to talk to me. She said both of them do drugs. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they opened up the front door. My dad was a lieutenant down in Fort Bend County in the Sheriff's Department, and you know he told me that, that, that I don't, if they had pulled over and stuff, that I don't, I don't have to let him search my vehicle. Unless there's, you know, I've bottle of cause, like if it's joint in there, or I've been drinking, or something like that. I haven't done anything. He just don't want to pay me back 20 bucks, so he's going to go in there and do whatever yeah, he's going to do. So you can ask the people who work in there. I've never caused any problems here. Pay close attention to these pedestrians that stopped right here, and they're going to have a prolonged conversation. And she's only maybe three or four foot away from that backpack and that bicycle and they're not doing anything wrong they're not breaking the law but the reason i want to point this out is because soon when manuel mata comes up he's not even that close to the book bag or that bicycle and officer palomares is going to lose his mind and order manuel to move back and when manuel is moving away he attacks him and goes after him and then they end up claiming that he was too close to that bicycle and that book bag well look at this what's the difference between these two and manuel mata i'm going to tell you the difference right now manuel mata was holding a camera and pointing it at them and these fort worth cops hate transparency and they hate being recorded worse than anything what have i done to justify this that's what i want to know i mean i want to know what i've done so like i said you can show me there's nothing then you'd be on your way in 30 seconds that bag so full of stuff and, and, and I haven't done anything. You just give me excuses, it. but it don't matter if it's full. But Dory's gonna come out here and advise you that you're not, you can't come up anymore. So you're gonna be criminally trespassed. Boy, so anything. and you're still detained. And I got a drug dog coming up here. So I, I wouldn't have any. If I were you, I wouldn't like you just second ago try to get up and be slick. And so, so if I were you, well, don't ask. Listen like... to me very carefully, sir. Because ain't nobody playing games with you. So at this point, because you're to, oh, because you're interrupting me and talking over me, that's why I have to get louder with you, because you don't listen very well. At this point, if you take off, jump up, take a run and fight, you will have additional charges. Do you understand me, sir? Yeah, I haven't. Okay, so if you take off, it will be evading detention. I haven't even tried. I just want to be clear with you. I mean, very clear with you since the time we started talking. I'm not playing any games with you. I've been very direct with you and very straight up with you. Why are you yelling? Only one playing games is you. And doing illegal activity, sir. I didn't do any illegal so, activity. So it doesn't matter. So I got a drug dog coming up here. We have the right to do that. The police has the right to investigate. That's what we do. Yeah. We get notified by more than one person, especially that you're dealing drugs. Guess what? We're, guess what the cops are going to do? One person. Guess what the cops are going to do? I don't. So I don't. we can stop all the charade and all all, all the game talk and all stuff that you're doing out here, you're, doing the most, acting up, sir. You can stop all that, sir. I've been respectful with you the entire time. 
You have not. Quit all that. You still don't like being accused of doing something I didn't do just because you didn't want to pay me back my twenty dollars. It's called pro it's called reasonable suspicion, and now I'm about to be probable cause. Probable That's what it's called, what? sir. Okay. Sir, you can stop all that. Stop all that. They're gonna criminally trespass you. You won't be able to come back and get anything here. If you do come back, then you you could just, be arrested. Just so you know, he's being very uncooperative. He don't want anybody to search him, so he's. We're very confident, but we're, we're going to confirm with the canine. Yeah. If canine's wrong, I give my apologies, but he's out, he's out here. Actually, we've already been notified by yeah. two people right. that that. So even, even if canine doesn't find anything on him, he's your guy for Dylan Royce, one of your guys. Okay. The other guy's in a tank top. Just so you look at him real quick. You need to be aware since we're having okay. the people are showing up high yeah. on drugs. Yeah. 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 Probably why more people are coming up here to yeah. buy drugs from these two guys. The guy in the tank okay. top right there uh -huh. and this guy right here. Okay. He's Aryan Brotherhood, Aryan Nation, whatever, from the prison gang. Okay. And uh, and he so both these guys. Guys are dealing man. These are your two okay. dealers right now. Okay. They've been identified. Okay. Okay. Dealing sir. I don't care what you say, sir. I don't care what you say. Sir. So, you cannot come up with you. Do you understand that? You're being trespassed. So, I don't know why you're so aggressive with me. I haven't done anything. Nobody's aggressive with you, sir. I'm talking in low tone of voice. Stop playing games, man. Stop playing games. So, so quit trying to push people's buttons. Quit trying to aggravate. Stop escalating, sir. Stop escalating the situation. Just sit there. You are you are being detained. So we're 30 to 40 minutes into this detainment by now, even though I've cut out most of that time. No, the Supreme Court has ruled that you cannot hold anybody any longer than 20 minutes while you're waiting on a drug dog to further an investigation. If you don't already have a crime, the Supreme Court has ruled that anything beyond 20 minutes is unreasonable and a violation of the Fourth Amendment. This video is going to go on for another 50 minutes after this, even though I'm going to cut out most of that time. It is a very unreasonable amount of time, and we will get to the updates and the outcomes at the end of the video. You guys are going to be shocked. Can I drink yeah. some water? Can you drink your water? Which one? You know what? I normally would say yes, but I don't want you overdosing and sip well, on some, some meth juice that you could There's be selling out here. Right there. Uh, at this point, until we get done with you, um, I'm, I'm going to say no, just respectfully, okay? Because I don't want you swallowing, uh, I, I have no liquid meth to be inside of a water bottle, so just for that very reason, okay? Oh I don't want you dying on my watch. Yeah, oh my God. I have a dollar to my name, because it look like I'm a drug dealer. Any weapons on you? I got a knife. Where's your knife at? Yeah, like an airsoft pistol in there, the, the rats. Where at? It's in my backpack. An airsoft pistol? Okay. But it's an airsoft, though. It's how you got there, the TV. Okay. The pistol's in the blue backpack? Yeah. Okay. Find that zipper right there. Is that a bag? Okay. Can we get it for you? No, no, I don't want you reaching in the bag now. Yeah. Yeah, no. it's just a little plastic thing. Yeah. Thanks for offering, but I definitely don't want you handing me a gun that's inside of your bag. It's not really a gun, it's just a, it's just a piece of that but, but, but just, I appreciate the offer, but again, you're talking to somebody that's been shot at before, at least once. Oh, that's a toy. Hey man, let me hand you a gun, bang bang, and it's over. See what I'm saying? This is open season, uh, apparently, on police officers. Officers getting shot more and more right now. Yeah, it was the cops. And then I'm going to tell you something, I'm not going to take any chances. And what does this shoot? Just a little plastic. Rat, rat shot, but it's, no, a, but it's a gun. It's a little plastic pellet, a little, little round, that big. Like those yellow things? Yeah. They're like that big. Yeah, they're, they're, they're big. They're about, I don't know. So, so how does it fire? Is it a CO2 cartridge or is it a bullet no, that fires the plastic? It's a spring. It's spring. Okay. It's spring. What's your question? Interesting and hadn't been here hey, before. Do me a favor for your safety. For your safety, hang hang tight over there for me or on the other side. You understand what I'm telling you? Sir, you got a guy with drugs here, sir. Sir, you cannot be here in the spot. You can report over there. 
sir. You got to report. What's your over name there. and your badge number? So, sir, you're going to be arrested for anything. What is your name and your badge number? If you Polymer touch me, you will lose qualified immunity. Polymer I'm on the public sidewalk. Stand on that side over there, sir. No, I don't have to. So you're interfering. Okay. Nah, you, you call your supervisor. If you're going to put your hands on me, call your supervisor. Because this is the sidewalk. I've already asked you to nah, move. I'm not trying to hear that. You have to understand people's rights. I've already asked you to move, sir. Nah, go ahead. So I've already asked you to Call move. your supervisor. I've already asked you to move. Call your supervisor. So, I don't, I don't listen so to unlawful and illegal you cannot orders. step over here. Call your supervisor. You just threatened me with so arrest. You cannot step over here. Officer Palomar has told Manuel to record further away. He was backpedaling and moving away from him the whole time. And if you look, he's the exact same distance as this woman is in this wheelchair right here. What is the difference between the two of them other than Manuel is holding a camera and is known to record the police on a regular basis? Nah, call your supervisor. Put your hands behind your back. Nah, don't touch me. Put your hands behind your back. Don't touch me. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. If I'm interfering, put your hands behind your back. Go ahead. Do what if you I gotta want. stop doing what I'm doing do what because you you're interfering, I have to, I, I, you're gonna I'm be handcuffed. Protected. I'm a first member protected. So activity. I understand that you call can record, but if I have to stop to do what I'm doing. Right here is a great shot of where the suspect is and how far Manuel moved away when the cop asked him to. You can see his scooter is actually past that woman in the wheelchair wearing the pink robe. Now, why do they only harass Manuel and nobody else? Well, it's because Manuel was trying to record him. Bottom line. If I have to stop to do what I'm Call doing to take care of you. Call your supervisor. Come over and have a seat. Call you. I'm not sitting down nowhere. So I'm not. Get my shit, man. Call your supervisor. Yeah, another unit. No, yeah. I need your supervisor. You're in the rest for interference, sir. So go ahead, do whatever you want, man. Sit down. No, I'm Sit not down. sitting down nowhere. Have a seat. I'm not sitting Have down seat. nowhere. No. Nope. Have a seat. I'm not gonna fuck Have you sit down, man. Have a seat. Body camera on. Have a seat. It's recording. Somebody record this. Have a seat. Hey, it's pick recording. Up my phone. Have a seat. It's recording. I don't have to sit down. Have a seat. It's recording. I'm refusing your illegal aggressive. order. Have a seat, sir. You're getting aggressive I'm with me. Have a seat. Back up. Have a seat. I'm gonna stand back up. Have a seat, sir. You. Have a seat. So, somebody record this shit. So you're bad. Uh, I shut up. I don't want to hear nothing. I told you if you put your hands on me, I, I will. F it. You. It's no, it's not. It's not. I can stand right there on the sidewalk. You're gonna learn that. Watch. Watch when That's they fine, come sir. up. You're That's hurting my hand. Bitch. That's fine, sir. No, it's not fine. You're hurting my hand. So I have to stop what I'm doing. So you're you in the rest chose of the to. You chose to. Okay, you can stop yelling, sir. No, I don't have to. It's my right. Just yelling. like it was to walk up and film you. That's what I'm teaching you, lady. You're hurting my hand. Trying to interfere, please. I'm not moving. You're hurting my hand, sir. You are hurting my hand. You are hurting my hand. Stop. Don't worry, man. I'm not moving nowhere, man. You're hurting my fucking Man, dog. Stop pulling away from me, sir. I'm not. Stop. I am not pulling, Stop pulling away, from, away from, you. from me. I'm not. Stop lying. Stop escalating. Stop lying. Stop I'm not escalating. escalating. The only one Stop who escalating. escalated anything was you. Stop escalating. You escalated everything by Stop putting fighting. your hands on me. Stop fighting. You. I'm not fighting. Stop fighting. I'm not fighting, dude. Stop fighting. Stop being aggressive. Stop fighting. Stop being aggressive. I'm sitting right here on the floor where you illegally threw me on the ground. I'm not violent, I'm not aggressive, that's you. You're the one that's aggressive and violent. You're the one that doesn't understand the law. You did it based on your feelings. And your camera stopped doing that with my hand. Stop fighting, sir. I'm Stop not moving. Away. Stop pulling away. Stop hurting my Stop hands. Away. I am not moving away. Stop pulling away. I'm not. Stop lying. Stop pulling on my hands. Stop lying. Stop pulling on my hands. I'm not. Stop lying. Stop pulling on my hands, sir. Stop fucking lying. Stop lying, that's not gonna work. Okay. Your lies don't count here, mother And this officer that failed to render me aid, you're all wrong. Hey, can you get this off me, man? What is he doing? I need your supervisor right now. I got a narcotics investigation going on. I need your supervisor right now. He's trying to interfere. No, I'm not. It's not illegal to film you, dog. And here, I need the ambulance. I need the ambulance. I need the ambulance and the supervisor. Okay. No, I need your supervisor and the ambulance. We're gonna put you. I need ambulance. We're getting an ambulance. 
I'm not moving. What do you, what do you want? What do you I'm want? not moving. I need an ambulance. What do you need an he ambulance just hurt for? my hands. What do you need an ambulance for? He hurt my hands by throwing me on the ground and illegally your hands arresting are? me. Your hands yes. Are? Okay. Yes. And I need your supervisor okay. on the okay. scene right okay. now. Med Star unit for uh, patients whose hands are. Somebody hurt. record this, man. Hey, sir. At this time. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to hear nothing. This is an illegal arrest. Right now, you he are had, under arrest. No, okay. I'm not. So Call you're your in supervisor. Car, okay? Y'all refusing me medical attention? No, we're getting you medical attention. Nah. We're putting hey, you in the car. Hey, my phone. Go ahead and lock the door. I got him. Nah, man, this fuck me, dog. No, leave it open. What's your name and your badge number? I'll get you all that stuff, okay? Nah, man, he's illegally arresting me. Y'all don't understand what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Call your supervisor. Ahead, call take, your supervisor. He's coming. Are y'all refusing to call your supervisor? We're calling him. He's on his way. I'm right here, yeah. dog. So I need to seat. talk to your supervisor, you that's the area. My body camera recorded everything. Y'all illegally hands. detained okay. me. Well, we got a camera right here. Okay? No, nah, don't touch my shit. Okay. Don't right. touch my shit, bro. You're relax. illegally, Moderate. that's Moderate. my Moderate. right. No, Moderate. you have no right Moderate. to take it off me. Moderate, relax. Moderate, relax. No, fuck. Fuck. Y'all fuck. I'm not going to cooperate. This is illegal. Are you going to get another charge? You keep I'm not doing shit, bro. All right. Why did you take my body camera off, dog? Y'all removing all evidence, man. Stop. I'm gonna fight for my rights, man. Stop. Your body camera's on. Your body camera's on. Everything's on, buddy. Everything's on. I'm resisting your illegal arrest. There you go. That's what I'm doing. Call you. Give me my body camera back. Don't turn it off. It's on. Don't give it to me. Y'all destroy. Oh, bro, give me my shit back where it was. I see interference there. Oh yeah, big time. Soon yeah. There's a fire on yeah, we've already we've already had a roll call with our sergeant, and I think I know who this guy is. I never met him before, but I've basically. I've never dealt with him, but I'm guessing that's. But basically, I have body. to stop watching him and do what I'm doing now. The last asking the stuff, he's interfering for sure. So, yeah. so he's yeah. going to jail for that. Yeah. 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 Fire yeah. In that bag. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then by the time I, I get right? back, he started cussing me out and he stepped forward, and that's when I went with him, took my handcuffs out. So he's under arrest. Yeah. See, if he would have done what this guy yeah. is doing. Yeah, so he's fine. Really so you can record over there, but he's still trying to fight, kick, and scream. So narcotics is on their way. Got a drug dog coming. And apparently, these guys might have made some phone calls. This other guy shows them on the scooter. He's, he's a local. These guys over here showed it too. The recording guy. So, yeah, so they're. So they're recording, they, that's what they do, and that's fine, yeah. they can record, yeah. but he's going to have to be trespassed too from here, yeah. um, because, yeah. hey man, he's, he's stopping, I said, hey man, you came here for your safety, yeah. you're yeah. in our right. investigation. Yeah. I'm uh, F you, F you, so I okay. come over here, I say, you're interfering, you bad enough, and then when he stepped forward again to come this way, okay. when I'm going to him and come rest for interfering, okay. so he's definitely Absolutely. interfering, he's trying to record her, okay. he can record her like that guy, he's, you know, yeah. just make your words yeah. going on, but yeah, in cool. situation. Come yeah. Out here. No, you can't have that kind of language here. So, for yeah. But narcotics is they, they, they should be pulling up any second now. Okay. Do you need some water? Please, please. I'm over here working on uh, duty. Um, we've been having an issue up here when like where people showing them high on drugs, um, showing up high. Came outside one day and there's um yes sir went outside out here and, and there was um. He like a smoking mask right out the door. You know, this is a church ramp facility for the homeless, for the mothers, the kids, diapers, formula, you know, so it's one of so it's a donation place and they hire police work our duty. So anyways, I'm in there standing uh, now, different day, and a white male in there all the way and I says, Hey man, just got to outside the guy inside starting to beat me up. And by the way, he's a guy that's out here selling mass. Oh, I want money. I said, well, what do you want money for? He said, yeah, I'm 20 bucks. I said, straight up, you know, do, do you smoke meth? Do you do any drugs? Well, yeah, he, he sells meth. He's, he's your meth guy to, to sell him. He's sold right now. I said, okay. So, um, then another foreman comes up. She's like, yeah, yeah, he's the guy. He, he, he does drugs. And there's another guy out there that was here with him that I didn't know about at first. So, hey, I'm going to talk to him by my car investigation. You can go that way. Later on, hey, man, go that way. Now I find out he was involved too. But anyway, so 
So this car here, I'm watching him. I got narcotics on the way with a drug so dog. Asked him to search, bring his rights. He should search me, but not my stuff. Okay, cool. You have the right to say no. You know, you can't it's refuse. It's kind of consensual. It's consensual. He refused. I said, sir, you have the right. Nobody's threatening you. You know, you have the right to, everything's on action. You can refuse um, a search. I said, but now, I'm going to call for a drug dog, so you should be detained. So I ain't telling I don't know what you're doing. He's giving me a bunch of lip service, sir. Look. At this point, I got enough information, you know, to hold you. Uh, you know, drug dogs, by the way, is coming. They're on their way. So that's where we're at. So I'm standing here watching him. My guy just called me right now that they're, you know, they're down the road. This guy comes skating up. So um, no big deal. He's got a camera. On. What am I doing, so, sir? And then he stops right here, right up by the back. So sir, you can't do it. It's a narcotics investigation. You can't, you know, go go on that side. You can record. Man, f you. That I know my rights, sir. You know, scoot back, get out of here. Don't you trust me? Now? Nobody even touched him. I'm just telling him verbally. So, as soon as he comes back again this way, hey, you're under arrest for interference. So, so, I hang up for interference. So, now I can't watch him. I got to stop what I'm doing. He can take over and stop fighting with him. You know, it's a safety issue, and he's definitely interfering. So, that's where we're at. And he's yelling and screaming the whole time. I mean, no use of force. Just handcuffed him, told him to sit down. So that's where we're at. So that's, pretty, that's pretty much all that's happening. So, yeah, I've heard of that guy. He, just, he shows up to a lot of the officer's calls and he does that every single time. Sergeant? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. figured you would be. Yeah. You take one step back and that's where he was. Yep. And then when he's over here, I said, you can stay on that man after you did it. And he comes back forward. No, 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 I'm done. I'm done. He's, he, got, he got already more chances than not to get back to the Yeah. The other guy stayed over there. So that's what those guys are. They're recording. And then you know, they run on the corner record, which is fine. You just can't come in and fear while we're doing our custom investigation. Thank you. Hey. Sergeant Hubbard. Okay. Got a couple right. of guys still coming to you. Uh, okay. Is that more than one situation going on yeah, here? Yeah, so I'm watching this guy. <laughs> and apparently in roll call, there's a group of guys going to recording and interfering. But also oh, it's those guys. Those so I never had groups. Never ran into him before, but yeah. he rides the little motor scooter and he do, and he parks right by the backpack. No, so now he told us he's got a gun on him. Hey, there's a gun in there. I shoot rats with it, whatever. Um, so we're trying to ascertain is the what type of pellet pistol see, rat shot what he's got. We haven't been in there yet, so is he a felon? Uh, I haven't checked my felonies. He's got no warrants, but so another check angle, him. another check angle is if he's a convicted huh? felon, okay. uh, and he's in self-admitted to own it, yeah. having a possession of a gun, that gets us in there too. Okay, he's saying that it's a pellet, plastic pellets, but I'm asking, is it rat shot? Is it, well, no, yeah. it, it's spring-loaded. So that's what he's saying, but he said, let me hand it to you. I said, no, you're not going to hand it to me and point it name and then fire a natural so, life round. But. So now that he's admitted that, what's his concern with? Let's see the, what else is. Exactly. And I asked him that, and he, he just keeps saying, hey, you just, I, I, I don't know why people are telling me that I'm doing this up here. I don't, I'm, I'm not doing anything else, sir. Right. You're working in stairs, but I got to do my job. Sure. And it's not just, they're telling me, I've shown people up here uh, high, just sketching like the guy in the blue that was up by the fence a second ago. I personally walked out and seen somebody hand a meth pipe to somebody else, right. finishing a bowl. So we're having the problems getting worse with narcotics, um, and now we're alerted to an actual dealer. Yeah, so so we'll take a look at his history. Real okay, quick. I'll call real Let's quick. Let's see if he has criminal history yeah. um, related to narcotics, okay. and then see if he is a convicted felon. And I may just chat with him. Okay, sure. Just to see what the issue is. What brings you here today, Manuel? He's got his ID. Are you being nosy again? Harassing the homeless. Oh. I'm filming everything, and d d don't worry, Snack, we I'm going to remember your name perfectly. I hope you do. Manuel, we always know you film. Yeah. We're not afraid. So why am I being arrested for filming? Exactly. Let's go. Stupid ass. I'll, I'll find it. Sure, Dumb man. Ass. Sure, man. Mad, man. No, man. You just admitted to nothing doing wrong, and oh, I'm under arrest. No. Are you going to complain, Manuel? You know I am. Good for you. And I guess what? I have an attorney to sue y'all. I bet you do. I know. I know. There he is. It's That's in the process right All now. I appreciate it. Okay, we'll see you later, buddy. Yeah. We'll see. Hey, Linda? 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 Yes. Hey, you know that, that you heard that guy that was out here screaming, cussing, and all that stuff? I heard him screaming and cussing, but I'm yeah. trying not to listen. Were you, were you offended at all by his language? Were you offended? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's why I don't. What, that's why I said what I did about him. Okay. Never one cuss word, no drug talk, no nothing. Yeah. I walk that? with him anywhere. Okay. But all these other people, you know, I've stopped walking with them. Okay. I, I can't take it any longer because okay. most of the time it's your goody two shoes. I like to be blank. I like to be blank.
Okay, okay, let me let me get your last person that watches over you. You know who that is. Let me get your last name real fast. Okay. Remember that we arrested. Do you remember what he said? Oh, oh gosh. Any part of it? Uh, you can spell it if you don't. I know you don't like cursing. All the FBC case, he said that over and over again, okay, and, he, and and and. Uh, Verbally to the police, he was telling them he, they were hurting him, and I could see that they weren't. Okay. Uh, okay. But he never stopped. He yeah, never, he from the moment, yelling. don't you touch me, don't you touch me, it started that way. Okay, yeah. and, uh, and then the F U C K came. And, uh, Would you mind writing out a statement real quick? Yeah. Okay, just like a couple lines about, hey, I saw what happened. And, yes. You know? Okay. Uh, we appreciate it. You, thank you. Fear, you missed that he admitted he had a pipe and some for personal use. Oh, okay. Was taken into custody. And the word on the streets around that area is that there were never any charges filed on him, allegedly and that he allegedly cooperated with these narcotics officers and made some kind of deal. Now, I will remind you that is just the rumors going around on the streets, and these are allegations. They are not confirmed as facts. As for Manuel Mata's charges of resisting arrest and interference with public duties, he pled not guilty. He took it to a jury trial, and it is my opinion that he had very ineffective counsel. And it's also my opinion that the prosecutors knew that there was no crimes committed here because I personally have beaten very similar charges to this. But the prosecutor relies on bad lawyers not representing their clients well and lawyers playing ball with them. So the prosecutor's office manipulated a jury of Manuel's peers and he was found guilty now when i first saw this video a few days ago the first thing i said was is we need to hire a better lawyer and appeal this this is a travesty of justice and this is ridiculous manuel has informed me that it is too late and that he has to turn him in himself in on may 6 and i think he said he has to do a hundred days in the county jail and this is absolutely disgusting all police officers or, and the prosecutor's office involved in this arrest should be ashamed of them. So people can just walk up on the sidewalk if there's a traffic stop and, and they could just record your officers during their traffic stop? Yes, you can record as part of your First Amendment rights. That having been said, you can't get to the point where you're so close you're interfering with the officer or distracting them from their duties. So how, how close is too close then? There's no actual distance. It's, it's based upon uh, whether the officer feels like he's distracted from being able to perform his duties and not have to be so focused on the person. So oh, okay. Yeah, understandable. So, so, um, so it is about officer feelings then, essentially. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. So, it, do these uh, w would interference only apply to a person, or if, like, say, there's a uh, a squirrel in a tree right next to the traffic stop, and the squirrel distracts the officer? Can you? Sir, where are we going with this conversation? I'm wondering if if you if the if the laws apply to the squirrel, and if the squirrel can be detained and or arrested for distracting the officer. Okay, sir. Uh, there's other people that need our assistance right now, and I'm going to go ahead and end this call. We're not getting into this. Is that a yes or a no on the squirrel? 